So it all happened on December 6, 2008. It was a Saturday night in the Athens district of Exarchia. And uh, there was uh, these two policemen who were patrolling the neighborhood, which is quite unusual. It was at least quite unusual at the time because Exarchia is considered to be quite a kind of like lefty or even a kind of anarchist kind of bastion. So they, they were patrolling and they came across this group of youths and there was quickly a confrontation between them, between the cops and the, the youths. But uh, very quickly kind of escalated on the side of the police. Uh, they did momentarily retreat, but then they kind of returned and one of them, uh, his name was Corconeas, uh, pulled out his gun and shot straight into the crowd, straight into uh, the chest of uh, the 16-year-old boy, Alexandros Gregoropoulos, uh, basically leaving him dead on, on the scene. But as soon as it was confirmed that he was dead, there was this quite incredible kind of um, wave of anger that swept through Exarchia. People started kind of gathering uh, spontaneously without any kind of formal call out and uh, rioting, attacking police or any other kind of like symbolic targets that they would find in their, in their way. Um, it, it, it was a, for many people I think this was a life-changing moment and even for people who were very far away this was very quickly resonating and they were very quickly feeling that this was turning into a very historical moment. So every year uh, since December 2008, on the day when Alexis uh, was assassinated, there have been um, demonstrations and there have been riots in Athens and in other big cities. There is a gathering at the, at the, kind of like the point of the assassination that usually turns violent in return. <laughs> And it's interesting because, like I said, it's more an official kind of like a commemoration. It's more uh, people who felt very close to Alexis, either politically or age-wise, who take to the streets again um, to kind of like commemorate what, what happened. Here comes the pain. This, this December, uh, there has been mostly, it was mostly kids, I think, that were rioting in the streets in Athens. And this is basically in line with uh, the other few commemorative kind of uh, demonstrations as well in 2009 and in 2010. And of course, this is partially and largely explained by the fact that, you know, Alexis was one of them. And they really feel, they really feel that way. They feel that Alexis was a kid that was like 15, 16 years old. He was white, he was Greek, he was very upper middle class. So in that sense, he could have been any of them and, and more. You know, if the police could go and like shoot someone like Alexis, they could easily shoot anyone else. <laughs> These kids do very quickly, very quickly realize that they are a completely kind of no future generation. But if, if us in our age like, feel kind of like uncertain or kind of disgruntled about the, the future, then these kids are absolutely fucked. Like they can't even, it's hard for them to even imagine completing a proper, whatever that would mean, proper education, high school education in Greece. They're absolutely doomed and they're very angry about that. I think that December 2008 definitely kind of created a, a, a opened a gap between uh, younger people and, and the police. I think that a lot of the younger people realized literally in their skin what was all these stories they would hear about 
before from their parents or from like siblings or whatever about what it means to be like beaten up at the demonstration or what it means to kind of face this brute force of, uh, of the police. And of course, I mean, Greece, for all sorts of historical reasons, has had a very specific, there's always been a very specific kind of like um, relationship between police and other much bigger parts of the population. And there's always been very specific, uh, politically speaking, very specific kind of segments of the population that will choose uh, to go into the police as a, as a career. I'm talking about right wing and extreme right wing, of course. <laughs> Interestingly enough, this also means that uh, the riots after the death of Alexis w were sort of a harbinger for what's coming next, because the kind of repression that these groups felt and kept, they've kept feeling, but they felt up to that point, has now been generalized to a much larger part of the society. So if, only, if it was only those parts of the society that had the reason to riot back then, now it's almost everyone. It is uh, probably one of the hardest uh, things at the moment is to kind of try and uh, imagine what, what the future holds for, for people in Greece, for the Greek society, and what the future of this crisis could mean. I mean, it's, it's, it's completely open. You know, uh, if you were to walk on the streets of Athens before uh, December, you could tell there was tension and you could tell there was something coming. Uh, equally now, you can definitely tell there's a lot of tension and there's definitely something coming. But I think it's so, uh, the, kind of, the waters are too dark to read through, if that makes sense. You know, it's really hard to understand what direction people are going to head into.